Dear students, now we are going to discuss parity generator and parity checker in detail. Let's start with the definition of parity bit. A parity bit is an extra bit which is added to the transmitted binary message to make the number of ones either odd or even. So why do we make the number of ones as odd or even? Yes, in order to detect the error signal occurred in the received message signal. So here this parity bit concept is widely used in digital communication techniques. So this concept is used for detecting errors in the received binary message at the receiver side. Okay. So here there are two important concepts related with this parity bit. The first one is parity generator. It is the logic circuit that generates the parity bit in the transmitter side. We can have even parity generator which will make the transmitted signal with even number of ones. The next one is odd parity generator. So it can generate odd number of ones in the transmitted signal. At the receiver side, we can have the parity checker. So which will check the parity in the receiver side. So it is the logic circuit that checks the parity in the receiver. So this is the general diagram which will represent both the parity generator and parity checker. So here we are having the original information in binary example 010. If we want to transmit even number of ones, we have to generate one as a parity bit here. So if I'm going to make the transmitted message signal as a even number of ones, then I have to generate one as a parity bit and add that one along with this information. Okay, so I'm going to transmit 0101 now to the receiver. This parity checker is going to check whether the received signal is having even number of ones or not. Okay, if it is even number of ones, then the original information is received, there is no error. If the received signal has odd number of ones, then we can easily find out there may be some error. Okay, next we are going to discuss even odd parity generator. So here we are going to consider a 3 bit binary message to be transmitted. So here 3 bit binary message can be represented as A, B, C. Here in this side we can generate either odd parity or even parity. Okay. So here A, B, C means 3 bits are there. So we can generate 8 possible message signal 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. This all are the possible binary message signal using 3 bits. If I want to make this 3 bit message signal as odd number of ones, I have to set this odd parity as 1. So we can transmit the signal 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So here in the next message signal 0, 0, 1, if I want to make it as an even parity, I have to set 1 for this even. Okay, so now I can transmit the even number of ones like this 0, 0, 1, 1. So for this message signal, it is 0, 1, 0. So we need to add 1 for making it as a even ones. Okay, so next one is 0, 1, 1. So already even number of ones available. So if I want to make it as an odd parity, correct? So if already even number of ones are there in the message signal, we have to make it as an odd number of ones for our error detection purpose. So we have to generate odd parity. So we are going to introduce one for this odd, okay? So likewise for this message signal 100, 0, 0, 
it is even odd number of 1. So, we have to make it as a even parity. So, here 101 again even number is there. So, we can make it as a odd 1. So, we can introduce 1 for this odd parity generator. So, likewise we can generate the extra bit 1 to make it as a odd parity or even parity. Okay, that is odd number of ones or even number of ones in the message signal. So, in the next step, we are going to plot the K map for this even parity bit or parity bit. And then we can draw the logic diagram. Okay. So, now we can consider this even parity bit. In order to generate even parity bit, we have to plot the K map for this okay so here one even parity one can be obtained when a is 0 b is 0 and c is equal to 1 so here again one can be generated when a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 0 so here the parity bit again because of this 1 0 0 and then triple 1 so we can plot the k map for this even parity bit uh, here we are using three bits, correct? So A, B, C. For that we can draw the K map like this and put the values 1 in the respective cell, okay? So after this we can write the Boolean expression, okay? For further simplification. So even parity can be represented by A bar B bar C plus A bar B C bar plus A B bar C bar plus A B C. So then we have to simplify this further like this. Okay. So from this two. Okay. From this two terms we can take A bar as a common one. So A bar of B bar C plus B C bar. From this two terms we can take this A outside as a common one. So here A of B bar C bar plus B C. So as we know that. B bar C plus B C bar is nothing but XR gate. So, here we can mention this function as B XR with C. Okay. Plus here this B bar C bar plus B C is nothing but XNOR gate. Okay. So, here B XNOR with the C. This can be represented as the complement of XR gate. Okay. This is the complement of XR gate. So, we can write like this. In the next step, so this part, here it is B XR with C, here it is the complement of B XR with C. We can consider this B XR with C as X. Okay, so here we can write A bar X plus A X bar. Okay, so that can be written as XR operation of A and X. Finally, we can replace this X as B XR with C. So, even parity can be generated by using this operation A XR with B XR with C. Okay. So, next we are going to draw the logic diagram for this even parity bit. So, here A, B, C, these three are the input message signal. Okay. So, for this three input bits, we are going to generate even parity using two XR gate. A XR with B and then XR with C. This is the logic diagram for even parity bit. Okay. So, the same way we can find out the odd parity bit also. So, here for this odd parity bit, we can have the K map like this. The further simplification of this odd parity is also similar to a XR with B XR with C. So, for even parity as well as odd parity, we can have the same logic diagram. Okay. Parity checker is the logic circuit that checks the parity in the received signal. In this example, we are transmitting 3 bit binary information along with the parity bit to the destination. So, here the parity checker checks for possible errors in the received message. 
the output of the parity checker is denoted as parity error check simply denoted as pec parity error check if pec is equal to 1 error occurs if pec is equal to 0 no error occurs so this is the concept of parity checker let's consider the truth table of even parity checker so the transmitter side we are going to transmit the original binary information along with the parity bit the original binary information has three bits that is a b c the fourth one represents a parity bit okay so here at the receiver side we are going to receive four bits so here pec represents what parity error check bit for four bits we can have 16 combinations so here let's see one by one for this input signals like 0 0 0 0 for this input signal the parity bit is 0 because we are concentrating on this even parity there is no ones so for the second input 0 0 0 1 there is odd number of 1 so we have to ensure whether it is even or not by making the value 1 so here PEC is 1 okay so 1 represents here it is odd we can make it as a even so next 0 0 1 0 again the received signal here it is odd parity okay so odd parity means odd number of ones so for that we can put one for this pec okay so next zero zero one one so for this combination it is having even number of ones so we can simply put zero next input zero one zero zero here odd number of one we can make it as even by putting the value one so next zero one zero one so even parity so we can make it as zero 0 1 1 0 again even number of ones in the received signal it is simply 0 so next 0 triple 1 so 0 1 1 1 even number of ones so we can put the value as 1 next 1 0 0 for this it is 1 next one 1 0 0 1 even number of ones so make it as 0 so 1 0 1 0 even number of ones 0 here it is 1 0 1 1 odd number of ones is there so we can make this pc as one so here 1100 zero, zero, again 0 1101 1 1 0 it's odd number of ones so make it as one finally 1111 one, one, one. so here it is even number of ones so we can simply put zero so this is the value of pec for even parity checking okay next we are going to plot the k map for this even parity bit okay so for e this even parity checking we are going to draw the k map so here you can see this k map for this four bits okay so and then place the value of one in the respective inputs then we can write the boolean expression for this values okay so here all once are placed in a unique places there is no grouping okay so there is no pairs of ones to be grouped together so we can simply write the boolean expression as for this two ones this a bar b bar is a common one we can write it uh, write it like this so a bar b bar of c bar d plus c d bar plus for this row for this row a bar b is a common so we can write like this so a bar b of here it is c bar d bar plus c d for the third row the common is a b so we can write a b of here c bar d bar c d bar and the last one is a b bar of here it is c bar d bar c d okay so this is how we can write the boolean expression and further we can simplify this so in the next step we have to take the common term so here c bar d bar plus c d bar is a common so we can take it outside and group the remaining two terms so here a bar b bar plus a b into c bar d bar plus c d bar similarly in the next two terms c bar d bar plus c d 
this term is common so we can take it outside and group the remaining two terms so we can get a bar b plus a b bar so here we can say this a bar b bar plus a b is nothing but a xr complement of a xr with b simply we can say it is the xnor operation so, okay so this can be written as the complement of xr operation between a and b so here c bar d plus c d bar is nothing but c xr with d so here it is again a xr with b so this term c bar d bar plus c d can be written as the complement of the xr operation of c and d okay so here we can say consider a xr with b as x so you can say this a xr with b as x and similarly you can say c xr with d as y so we can write like this so xr sorry x bar x bar into y plus x y bar that can be written as x xr with y correct so this is the operation of xr gate so we can write x xr with y so after that we can replace this x with a xr with b y with c xr with d so finally we can get parity error check bit can be represented as a xr with b that is xr with c xr with d okay so this is the logic diagram for this parity error checker so here we are giving a b this two or xr with this xr gate then so here uh, the next two inputs are c and d we can get c xr with d these two are given as input to the third xr gate finally we can get b c bit okay so the applications of this parity generator and checker it's widely used to detect the errors in digital communication systems